Buenos dias. Did you sleep well? Good morning, Mrs. Dreamer. Good morning, everyone. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It's January 8th, 2022, and welcome to CBS Saturday Morning. Omicron overload. The U.S. sees another huge spike in coronavirus cases and hospitalizations, including among children. This as the Supreme Court weighs whether to allow President Biden's vaccine requirements for large employers to move forward. Life in prison. Three men convicted of killing Ahmaud Arbery learn their fate in a Georgia court room will have the emotional reaction from the victim's family. Mixed jobs report. The economy adds nearly 200,000 to the workforce, but that's lower than expected. We'll talk with our expert about where the economy stands and how the latest COVID wave will affect it. And loss of a legend. Trailblazer Academy Award winner and social justice icon Sidney Poitier passes away at 94. We'll look back at his extraordinary life. But first, we begin this morning with a look at today's eye-opener, your world in 90 seconds. Anyone can do it. Even me? Sure, even me. All you need is long hair, makeup, and tight pants. And we can get that stuff right here in your mom's closet. Yeah, sure. That's right, Billy. Yeah. See, he saw the picture of you on the computer and that you was going bleh when you were playing basketball. And, and who else in the world does that? Her name is Mr. Big Baby Paco Derm. I want it. But she likes me best. Besides, I already got teeth. Uh, Go downstairs. But I must finish my juice box. Gracias. Hmm, nice. Oh my goodness, you are so cute. I think I will call you Juan and you Juanita. Yeah, I, I, I really um, thought that the finale was awesome. No, I got everything I needed out of that head. Way to go, Eduardo! You captured the cannibal ghost! And it was the most delicious badger ever. That was amazing! Good job, Agents Puppy and Catswell. You've done tough proud. This is nice. Everyone's being super helpful today. My name isn't really Francisco. It's Francesca. My mom wanted a girl. I found some moves! My thirst isn't on the loose anymore. I just want to thank you all for your help. Mount Bear River is flowing again. The other storm drains are painted too. And the whole Mount Bear watershed too. I was just going to say that. Yes, the saint of horse. You're our hero. I am feeling like you Exactly. You kings and queens of Woodland Valley. Oh, Lala, I am so excited. I just know that this time I am going to get camp store. I think I just found what I was looking for. Try taking a dip in Big Springs, Little B. I'm sure the fish there will get you clean. If you ask me, I think Bunga smells fine just the way he is. Yeah. And in Bunga's case, he's a stinky little honey badger. Thanks, Uncle Timon. Pretty. Glad to be almost alive. Really? Gracias. This morning's eye-opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. Oh, yeah. See? Totally. Hmm. Reality is its finest when it is with children. <laughs> I get ketchup <laughs> tossed at me all the time. What do you not, do? Not just here. I don't know. What, what can you do? Yeah. I mean, I could, I could throw it back at her, I guess. Yeah. And then we're talking to Cole, right? But I know. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Crazy. Well, I can't it. believe you do it. <laughs> Welcome to the weekend, everyone. I'm Dana Jacobson along with My name is Eduardo. Jeff Glor and Michelle Miller. <laughs> this morning we're gonna take you to Venice, where the history is so powerful you feel like you could reach out and touch it. And out in these waters, you actually can. We will take you to the Venetian Lagoon where ancient treasures lie just beneath the surface. But maybe not for long, we will explain. 
We will also take you to Austin, Texas to catch up with author, screenwriter, and producer Noah Hawley. It's there where he finished his latest book, worked on a new season of Fargo, and a few other projects. We'll see how he's able to do all of it. Then it's to Vietnam by way of this Brooklyn, New York roastery, where one woman's approach to Vietnamese coffee is so groundbreaking, it landed her on the cover of Food and Wine magazine. We'll introduce you to Sarah Nguyen and find out why the buzz from these beans is unlike your normal morning joe. And sticking with food, Hillary Sterling is one of the hottest chefs in New York, but she hasn't forgotten where she came from. We will see that in her cooking and her worldview. That's later on The Dish. Are you guys hungry? Yeah! Yeah! Yes! 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 Yeah! Yes! Yeah! Delicious carrot cake. It was so delicious, I ate the whole thing. Almost. <laughs> Now it's gone. And we'll wrap things up in Nashville with a performance from a band whose live shows have generated quite the following. Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors will perform in our Saturday session. All that and so much more is all ahead. Oh yeah, for sure. Me too. But we begin this morning with new concerns about the Omicron variant. A record level of children under the age of five are being hospitalized amid a climbing infection rate. On Friday, the Supreme Court heard arguments about the Biden administration's employer vaccination mandates. 